I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica Chica, Chica updates. updates. Hey, we got yeah. that. <laughs> so we miss you guys. So we're sorry for um, not been uploading pictures or videos yeah, for it's been about two, two months, months so. since our last update so yeah we really apologize or we're really really sorry about that and we miss you all <laughs> yeah unfortunately life has happened and life as we know it kind of ceased to exist about three four months ago yeah and we've been trying to get back on track and find our normal and yes a lot of things have happened with us, between us, and to us in that process. Agreed. So uh, someone started a new job. Yeah, so two months ready on that new job. So I started May 27th. Yeah, it's been two, three months. Two, three months. So I got a new job as a staff accountant in a health organization. So pretty much it's cool. It's and not quite as close as the other job was, but it's still only uh, about three miles, four miles yeah. from, from where we so live. So it focuses more on doing financial statements. I s still have a payroll side of doing it, but it, it, it's so easy because I've studied it for the past three, four years. Yeah, your primary job is payroll. It's not really payroll. It's the accounting side, really? the financial side. I have only 10% of the payroll because it's so quick and easy. That's why I have 90% of the accounting side. Oh, Re okay. Account it's... reconciliation, financial statements. So. Oh, I thought you were hired more as a payroll. I was hired for both. <laughs> you were hired because you knew payroll and were able to do oh, okay. Yes. But you were hired as an accountant. Okay. Yes. So. That makes more sense. Yeah. So that would be the update. First update. As you can see, yeah, we're, we're even having trouble communicating some of the stuff to each other. <laughs> I don't remember if I tell you, but I remember I tell you that. I, I've always thought, I, to, to this point, I've always thought you were a payroll accountant. No. When I saw the thing on your door that was staff accountant, that one kind of, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. it's the 10% payroll, 90% accounting. I guess I spend more time on the accounting side. Uh, auditing, reconciling, doing financial statements. So I'm supporting mainly the senior accountant and the chief financial officer. So cool. that's cool. So the second update is I got my dual citizen last week. Yeah, that was a. Uh, it's been. It's been interesting an interesting challenge. challenge. Yeah. Uh, it was when you got your citizenship back in September. September. You got it like the week before, the week after, after the, the outreach, but the they outreach need the some fall. documents at that time, and I don't have yet. They need a passport. They need the the American passport. They need an yeah. American passport. Of course, I already have the naturalization, but I don't have the American passport yet. To show and and so we just figured, you know, in September, we just figured, okay, cool, we'll get it in April. Yeah. But they do the an outreach in September, October. And then they do one in March, April time frame. And yeah. so we figured we'd just get the March, April one. Well, <laughs> who knew life was going to implode? Yeah. Uh, um, the the, the council has been actually been shut down, the hard closed. Yeah. And then we only June. have five people. You need to set up appointment and five people in a day that they will do an all taking. And it's pretty interesting, you know, the normal Philippine government, you know, but I don't have heart, you know, I don't have heart aches in that. I, I know that would happen, and John gave me a heads up, and I know my government well, even though I've gone there for five years, but pretty, you know, I'm still okay with it because I still got used to it, and it's not so far, yeah. you know. So that's the second update. But we actually had a cool, we, we decided to do it on, uh, we were able to do it on a Monday, Monday. we just, we wanted to do it either on a Friday or a Monday. Yeah, so at least I could take off on Monday. And, and we just flew out Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, got a car and just tooled around and checked out LA. And, and now we were able to go there early uh, Monday morning. Yeah, and then head home Monday and it was and, uh, we, we, and right after your oath taking, we kind of slowly wandered to the airport and got five. on the plane that night. Yeah, and then didn't third update is I'm practicing driving. Not <laughs> in LA. 
it's embarrassing for some for other people but hey it's never too late to learn I, it's for me it's my motivation to get to learn to drive because the fourth update to so moving me to the fourth update <laughs> in 80 days we're flying to the Philippines <laughs> we, we've got our tickets they've been changed once we're hoping it's going to go through. Uh, the, we originally had them booked for the 8th of October yeah. on a direct flight LAX to Cebu. And they said they could do an, uh, a modified flight on the 8th Yeah. that was from LAX to Manila to Cebu. And neither one of us really want to fly into Manila with all the yeah hassle and everything. hassle and headache they're going through. Yeah. And the lady couldn't tell us whether or not uh, after we landed in Manila and went through that quarantine, whether or not when we flew into Cebu we were going to have to go through it again. That I, I'm at, at this point I'm thinking they really don't know for sure themselves. Yeah. So to add up on that one to the next up update is you will be asking why are you moving during that time why so I know you have a lot of questions in your mind like we are in the US and we live a very comfortable life and we're going to the third world or okay a progressive country okay developing now, nation. Deve uh, developing nation thank you developing nation well, like, PC term. yeah so people will have questions a lot of questions right now yes we appreciate your care and concern but this is our desire this is like our we've been planning this for tentatively long. for pretty much since we got together so yeah we've been planning it for a long time yes i am hesitant in the beginning i have a lot of worries but one thing for sure that i know is as long as we're together and okay. we are a team and we work together we have our big god you uh -oh. know so I know this would be a challenge along the way. There will be a lot of stress, a lot of everything, <laughs> you know, but we can do this, right? That so. we can. That, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments about that, please feel free to put them down. That we'll do, we will reply to every question or comment. We will do our best to answer any questions Yeah. Uh, that aren't terribly invasive personally. Yeah. But so we'll even do our best to answer those. We're okay. What's the last? Oh, six. The last update is where are we gonna move or where are we gonna stay? <laughs> That's changed repeatedly. So too. we don't know right now, but one thing we know is we're going to. We're probably gonna go to Malai Balai. Yes. So yeah. Cindy's mom's family is from there. Yeah, she grew up there and she liked uh, the place. Papa owns some land up there. Yeah. yeah. Mama and Papa, when they first got together, it, it managed to buy land up there. Yeah. And they're going back and, and going to continue. They Papa yeah. wants to get back into farming. She, he likes, it's, I guess what my mom said is Papa's dream is to have a farm and, you know, they just want to go back. They abandoned that lot or property for 13 years. Yeah. So they planted coffee, pineapple, banana, all the, the, the plants, you know, and then there's Dorian, there's Marang, all the, the trees, the Guyabano. So it's just so sad because when they left, the people who stay there are the one who has, who's harvesting the, the, the plants. Or but, uh, well, and, and that's just it. it. We're going to help them as much as we can. Yeah. And Papa's already said that he wants to go back as soon as travel is opened up well enough to go back. Yeah, we don't know when, but we there's, just want to go back there. <laughs> there's a good chance they may beat us back there. There's just as good of a chance we may meet. Uh, we may all meet up in Sabunga. Yeah. Uh, so one thing also that we knew is we would we will always we will plan along the way. We don't have fix. You know, like, okay, what if when we arrive in the Philippines and with a quarantine thingy and can we go back straight to Cebuga or can we go Our to... Our goal is to get to Cebuga as quickly as possible. Yeah. Right now, from what I'm seeing, from everything 
uh, the couple of expats that I've seen make videos of going back that you're able to get in in a few days. Yeah. But you've got to have quarantine passes with the place you're going and, and a few other things like that. Yeah. So we're hoping to be there within a week of landing. Yeah. But, you know, being, in, being at the end of October, everything could have completely changed by then into something completely different. So at this point, we've got tentative penciled in plans that this is what we'd like. Yeah. We've got tickets to go. Uh, but again, we, we will not go through Manila. If they move them again or move them back again or for some reason can't get us to Manila or can't get us to Cebu without going through Manila, yeah, we'll book on a different airlines. We've got PAL booked because in May they were supposed to have started a Manila or LAX to Cebu run. Yeah. And they've done a few. They've done a few that were LA to Cebu. And so the 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 flight is does happen periodically, but with all the changing restrictions and this and that and the other thing that they, they haven't been terribly regular with it at this point. Uh, when I f when they first rebooked it, that they looked from July all the way out to October, and October twenty fourth was the first one that was scheduled. Yeah. But since then, uh, there was a new update that there's a couple that are leaving uh, right now, and they've got another so run that goes what we can do is LAX just to, to Nardia to Cebu. So, so it, right just, now, we don't know. Yeah. And we're just going to have to hang out on that one. Yeah. And, and a lot of the decisions are like that. They, they, we, we've got a tentative idea of what we want to do, yeah. but until it gets closer and things start getting clear we just don't know yeah so for those who are new to our channel and if you're curious to our channel too you can always subscribe and look up our previous uh, videos and to those who are um, have questions just uh, give us a comment and if you like this uh, video that we're doing or if you feel you're bored just feel free to comment so don't forget to like comment, comment and, and subscribe, subscribe. Mabuhay! Three minutes. Very cool.